Italian director Marco Bellocchio's new drama Bella Adormentata or Dormant Beauty puts a spotlight on the ever controversial subject of euthanasia. The film set during the last days in the life of Eluana Englaro, an Italian girl who lived in a vegetative state for 17 years following a car accident and the debate surrounding her right to die. For me, it's a limit. For me, it's limiting to say I want to make this film because I want to stress a certain principle or put out a certain message. I want to, as I said one time, give a message. Your ideas, what you think, come out. They make themselves apparent, but above all, it's important to tell a story, to try to portray to an audience. It's important to tell stories, stories, personages. The unfolding tale acts as a backdrop for various fictional stories that are all connected emotively to the case. A senator has a crisis of conscience when he's required to vote on the euthanasia laws while his pro-life daughter unexpectedly falls in love with a euthanasia advocate. I think the movie is so... Um, Honest intellectually, you know, in that, in in that, in the sense that uh, you you can have, you know, it really makes the difference between theory, between ideas, and it and ideologies, and <laughs> organic reactions, and also whatever you have to face in the real life. Well, I think it's the same, like it's like abortion, you know. Um, it, it's, it's, it's about people's freedom and also people's fear. So it really splits people, you know. Signora, noi ci conosciamo bene. Quante volte ho ricoverato di me sua madre? Bellocchio insists he wasn't out to create a film that questioned the rights or wrongs of euthanasia. Signora, perché mi dà del tuo? Per non ricoverarla. L'ammazzano. Io voglio sapere chi vi ha dato l'ordine. Il direttore. Bella Adormentata was one of the 18 films shown in competition at the recent Venice Film Festival and is out now in Italian cinemas.